anybody ready to make some sandwiches? Hey guys, welcome back out to the shop. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of sandblasting. The most recent camping trip we were on, I ended up scoring a couple of these sandwich makers. Now they are not in the best condition. They are rusted and they have, I don't know if they were really used really hard or if they just got left out, but it seems like they are heavily rusted. Two of them are really bad. The rest have a lot of surface for us that I think would be able to come off with like a wire brush or something like that. But today I want to try a little something different. Now I've never done cast iron in a sandblaster and I've read up on it. Some people say you can do it, others say that you can destroy your cast iron. But guess what today with these I got plenty of these to play with. I have three of these single ones and then three of these double pie makers is what you call them because they are absolutely delicious when you make a uh, sandwich inside one of these over a campfire. I'm telling you if you never tried it you were really missing out. But today what we're going to end up doing is figuring out whether or not we can actually do this. The reason why they say you are not supposed to do it in a sandblaster is because you will destroy the cast iron material. You will change the I guess the patina or the design that's on the actual cast iron. I don't believe so from what I've read and what I've seen. I think that it'll be just perfectly fine, but we're going to figure that part out. Now afterwards, we're going to be taking the complete finish off of these. So after you get this done, you will obviously have to go through the finishing process of cast iron, which is oiling it, leaving it in an oven for three or four hours and letting the oil finish bake onto the cast iron. Let's go ahead and get this set up, get it put in the sandblaster, and just start taking it away, see which ones do good, which ones don't. Let's figure this out. side is the worst by far. That's heavily rusted. Looks like I have a, a small leak in there. So I fixed the leak now. Now we're good to go. All right, so I just finished up mainly the first little round of doing the sandblasting on these. I really want to just stop right now, kind of evaluate where we're at with it. These were heavily rusted. These were probably the most rusted ones that I have here at the house right now. And I wanted to tackle these ones first just to see if it was worth it. If it cleaned up fairly well, then yeah, it would be worth it to do all the other ones. And I am pulling these out now. We'll go ahead and take a look at them. All right, so here they are on the table. And we're just going to check them out, see what they look like. See if it really did anything. So the most compatible sandwich maker would be this one right here. Look at how rusty that is. Look at all that rust on there. That is not surface rust. That is actual rust rust. Look at look at that buildup of rust on there. And these were about the same. Look at how much of a difference they are. So 
so there's the inside and look at how cleaned up that is look at the difference in these two so one of the things that I read is that they really change the texture of everything. They pit stuff. So the one thing I really wanted to make sure was that I used the correct sandblasting material. So I went ahead and picked up some glass sandblasting stuff and it really does not destroy metal and it's supposed to be really soft for like aluminum stuff like that so it doesn't eat away the material. And I think that really helps in this case because just running my hand over all this, I can tell that it didn't wear any of it away. It still has all the ridges where it needs to be for the campfire. That way it doesn't just stick and it's, you know, it's got the space and gap in between everything. And even on the inside where it's supposed to be super smooth, I can feel a little bit of the sandblasting material still on there. But that usually comes right out. I'll probably just take a wire brush real quick too and just go over it once. This still has some rust on it as you guys can probably see. So I'll probably throw that back in there and work on that one a little bit more. But the point of this video today was to see if you can actually sandblast the cast iron and not worry about the finish on it. Yes, you have to go ahead and put the oil finish back on, but that is something that you would have to do anyway if you took sandpaper to it, scotch bright, anything like that to where you really want to scrub and get the rust off. I think that this really doesn't destroy the metal if you use sandpaper like I've seen in some videos. You have to scrub extremely hard to get all this out, which means that you would wear away some of the material. The sandblasting does not do that. So I really like this right now. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on all these other ones, see how it turns out with them all. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and actually learned that you guys can actually sandblast the cast iron. Look, rusted, not rusted. It was an amazing job. I really like the sandblaster guys. I recommend it modifications can really work with this sealing stuff off you know all the good stuff look on youtube for all those i'll probably do a video upcoming of modifications that i want to do so look for that guys thanks for watching give it a thumbs up if you guys are new hit that subscribe button also hit that little bell that way you guys get all the notifications for when i post videos thanks for watching i'll see you guys on the next video